Here's a great case that shows how a CPCT can help plan and treat retreatment cases. So this case was already endotreated by a general dentist. You can see a canal that's filled and you can clearly see that there's a missed canal or a root that isn't filled. So the first thing we do in this case is we take a cone beam CT to give us valuable information. What the cone beam CT tells us is that yes, there is a missed canal or a root and the missed root is lingual to the obturated canal. So armed with this information, we go back into the stool we remove the temporary filling and once the temporary filling is removed you can see the old canal filling so we remove the gutta perca all the way down to the bifurcation level because that's where the canal bifurcates into two and we verify that with the radiograph and then armed with the information that we have we know that the extra canal is going to be lingual to the filled canal so that's the filled canal and that's where we're going to look for the missed canal lingually and that's exactly where we found it and then once we found that extra lingual canal we clean shape it and obturate the canal and then to add some strength we put a fiberglass post and seal it with a composite core so that's the post stop so you compare the pre-op and the post stop you can see we're able to handle this conservatively and one of the main reasons why we are able to treat this conservatively is because we have this extra information from the cone beam CT and that uh, tells us that we need to look lingually for the missed canal rather than looking for it blindly